So right here, let's dive right in. I have 3D Studio Max 2013 open. Uh, I'm pretty sure any version above 3D Studio Max 5 will work if you have that. Uh, if you're a student, you can get this for free. And if you're not, you can get a 30-day trial uh, or use GMAX. But unfortunately, I hear GMAX is a little different. So uh, whichever works for you. But this tutorial will be for 3D Studio Max. If it's your first time opening up this program, it's a little daunting, isn't it? There's lots of buttons. Uh, you don't really know what any of it does. Uh, but for the purposes of map making, you can ignore most of it. We're mainly going to focus right here on geometry, which should be open immediately after you open 3D Studio Max, and on these buttons right here. Uh, just a few of them, really. So, before we begin, you should really have a mouse with a mouse wheel. It's so much easier for doing everything. Uh, click in the mouse wheel and move your mouse. You can move the scene around. Roll the mouse wheel. You can zoom in and out. Hold Alt and the mouse wheel. You can rotate. Hold Control and the mouse wheel. It's also panning, but it's a bit different. I'm not exactly sure how. Uh, but you'll see it's it's different than just using the mouse wheel. I don't use it that much. Uh, shift and the mouse wheel will limit it to one direction at a time. So if you only want to pan left and right or only want to pan up and down, hold shift and the mouse wheel. And you can't really do any of that easily without a mouse wheel. So if you're trying to work on a laptop or with a tablet, it's going to be a bit harder for you. Uh, if you don't have a mouse wheel, you can also use the view cube in the top right corner. Uh, it's not as convenient. So, like I said, it still gets the job done, but, you know, <laughs> if you end up panning too far away from the center, or whatever you're working on, you can click the home button here, or just press the Z key. If you have a keyboard, you could just press the Z key. It'll automatically zoom in on whatever you're working on. Uh, you can adjust your viewports. This is all basic 3D Studio Max stuff. Uh, I'm not going to go too in depth on it. You can look up tutorials on 3D Studio Max itself if you need that. Uh, but for our purposes, that's really all you need. You need to be able to look around.